Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com. We're going to take a look at our new Shoot It template and um, take a look at what you can do and how you can modify it. Now this is a, a great new template using Muse 7 and some of the great new features that we have there. So we have this new full screen slider and you can see that this will modify itself to match the size of the uh, browser window. And then we've, we've uh, pinned the various elements on the home page here so that when the page rescales itself everything stays in place and retains the design and we've also got this nice new navigation uh, unit that we've created with the new rotationable widgets so we have our menu sitting in this nice neat uh, menu to making the most of the pictures if we go into the site we'll see that we've also got our background image here and with our um, uh, with our page scrolling and if we load up the page again the same page again you can see that we still have a full screen image that changes um, with each page load so uh, that's a really nice neat um, feature and we have nice navigation and, and so on but the main features are the the big full screen um, widgets. So let's jump into the site in Muse and take a look at how we can modify this and how we can change the design of this site. So here we are in Muse. Um, I've got my screen set here to 75% so that we can see more of the usable area. And you'll notice that this is um, quite simple, the, the layout. And if we click on this background image here, we get our little um, menu icon here we can open that up and let's just pull Muse into frame here a bit so we can see here that we've just using the normal um, widgets here and we can load new images but we've, what we've also done if we go into we put, pull in our um, graphic styles here you will see that if I select this item here and we go into our graphic styles you can see that we have this um, layout style and what we're using on top of this is um, a background fill which is just a tiny little dot pattern so a one pixel dot with uh, one pixel around it so we create this dot grid and we've set that to top left tiled and then we've dropped the opacity of this to 80 and what that does for us then is it allows us to have, um, let's open this back up again, it allows us to have this grid pattern sitting over the top of the image that scales with the image. And this is because when images are this big, you don't want to have a huge JPEG file. So you'll have a slightly lower res file and the dot pattern on top creates a sharper image, although it's slightly duller in its colors it creates a sharper image because the dot breaks up the pixelation but you can always switch that off um, but just to let you know that's how we achieved it we didn't achieve it by adding that pattern to the Photoshop image because of course if we did that then as the image scaled the dot pattern would actually get bigger which we don't want to happen we actually want to keep the dot pattern the same size but the image to scale okay so that's how that works each of these items are pinned so this navigation menu here which is using a, um, an accordion that's been rotated and of course the icon sitting behind it needs to be rotated beforehand so when you rotate the panel the icon shows up the right way because otherwise the icon would be on its side um, we've if you notice here if we select this item we can see that this item is pinned top right. Okay, so when the page scales, that will stay top right. These items here are pinned top left, so they will stay there. Then we have these bottom item, um, items pinned bottom right, and you've guessed it, the thumbnails and telephone and so on pinned bottom right. So that works nicely to keep everything in place. If we go into one of the internal pages, let's say the About Us page, we can see here that we have our elements sitting on, 
on top of the page and at the moment it won't render out to a full screen um, background image because of course um, that happens at the rendering stage in the browser but if we just used a browser fill for an image the downside of that would be that we couldn't use this dot pattern um, although it would scale we could make it scale with the page we want to apply this dot pattern we don't want to have to do that in Photoshop for the reason we previously stated that we don't want the pattern to actually grow with the image uh, and if we apply that um, through Photoshop then that would be the case and also we like the idea of having a different image load up each time the page loads up, loaded up so if we go into our template here you'll see that what we've done is we've just used that full screen background in there we've placed it on in the layers palette we've placed that on our our um, let's select that there We've placed that in our content area at the back of the content. But what we have done as well is we've switched off all of our options. So for instance, we don't have any fit, we don't have any navigation, we don't have any captions, any thumbnails, so that is all switched off. We've we've also set the transition to fade so that the page the, the item fades in with the page. We and we've switched the autoplay off. So that means oh and one other thing we've set the item to shuffle. Now the shuffle option is what makes a different um, item load up each time the page loads up and by switching the autoplay off it won't automatically move on to the next slide it will just stay in place. So that's a neat way of getting this background image that changes each time the page is loaded is full screen allows you to put some effects over the top um, and creates a really nice effect so that's how that's done. Now if we go back into um, this page here, let's go into our home page, we have some instructions for you and they can be found in our, if you install the, the um, once you um, open up the page and install the libraries widget, you can, you'll find the instructions in there, they are, and you can switch those on um, and that makes it very easy to just find our tutorials and so on. But let's take a look at modifying this. So I'm going to open up my swatches panel first and we're going to create a nice new look for this. So we're going to do a, a nice photographic look with black and red. So this color here, I can see that this color is in our logo here. So I'm going to right click on this, go to swatch options and then I'm going to choose black. Now what that's doing now is going through the entire site, finding any usage of that particular swatch. It's a named swatch. So where we've used it throughout the site and modified it. We're gonna change these icons to black as well. So we'll choose swatch options, take that color down to black and click okay. And you'll see that those items change as well. Okay, and now we're going to choose our reddish color here. Go to swatch options and take it to a much or um, red red so there we go and that's that now the beauty with this is is that our entire site now has been updated so we've got this nice black and red look to the site and if we go through to our additional versions the tablet version we can see that all of those effects have taken place across the entire design and um, from the most part we could just put our own content in swap out the images change the logo and we're ready to go so it's a really nice easy way of modifying the look of the site now the other things that you can modify uh, very easily we have them in our character and paragraph styles so if we go into paragraph styles here we'll see that this about text here wherever this is used this page title is an H1 and if we go into our content here we can see that that's an H2 and H3 and so on so we can easily modify those by selecting the item here go into our text panel changing the font whatever we wanted to change it to let's change it to this red color and try and use the swatch colors that are already in the palette um, otherwise the if you want to modify it in the future it won't happen 
that the um, it won't happen in the same way that we've seen it happening here today. So easy just to swap swap out the colours. And we can see a little plus icon next to our H2 here. So I'm going to hit the redefine style button. And now what that will do is it will go through and it will redefine that style across all of the usages of that um, particular style. So if we open up this about page here in our tablet view, we can see that that headline has been updated. But let's swap it out here and go back to our black color and I'm going to redefine that style and then if I go back to my about us page here that we modified earlier you can see that all of our headline headings are um, again back the way they were so this is a very easy to use template it's got some great features very easy to change the colors get it to the way that you want it to uh, great for photographers and we think you'll really enjoy using it thanks for watching